How's it going, everyone? I'm Aaron Nick, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. I am continuing on. Um, how do I? There we go. That is that's weird. You have to hit the you have to hit the shoot buttons because because the options right here are restart options and game section. So like when you don't want to, there's no like option just to hit back. Like it's not pause. And when I try and hit escape, it wasn't working. But anyways, uh, I am yeah. There we go. And I press buttons. So I'm continuing on as Parker. I have my partner here. I still don't know her name. I think was it Jessica? It might have been Jessica. I think I heard that. But I'm continuing on. Um, I'm all I've been fighting is these hunters. There is I I've basically just been analyzing like the problems with the game so far, which this game like while. I might be over analyzing some of its shortcomings. It's not. Damn, come on. Yeah, I figured. I saw the elevator. Yeah, so I gotta wait it out now. They're here. I think they're here for you. Because you're a flirt. Oh. Sorry, yep. Yeah, so I'll just throw that, and that killed most of them. I don't kill. I don't date cannibal monsters. That's really what she just said. But they're not really cannibals. Cause to be a cannibal you'd be eating your own. And you don't really see them like they kinda work together. Like they have a little bit of a pack mentality going on here. So that statement's kinda false. I mean like I get what they're going for, they eat human, but that's still not cannibalistic. Cause these have like a very lizard like base because it's all different viruses they they use the hunter virus on these guys um i think i'm just gonna pull out my shotgun who knows if there's like a boss or anything coming up but i keep saying that like oh i can i can heal while i'm on the ground all right there is so many ways to abuse this game i'm noticing like that like right there like sh like going in to punch a guy while I throw a grenade nullifies the grenade it seems like grenades just don't hurt me in this game oh uh, like grenades do not hurt me like I am I'm just immune to grenade no oh. Not immune to claws, but they really aren't doing much. Punch. And then just pile. Alright, so now I can head into the door. Can I hop over this? Hop. There we go. Action hop! Okay, at the same time, um, I realized that this game was originally designed for the Nintendo 3DS. So that might explain a lot of, like, why the AI isn't quite what I would want it to be. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar energy satellite. Oh yeah, they use they use a solar energy satellite. I'm gonna heal myself just to get rid of that. Huh. I don't know. Um the storyline of this one really isn't hooking me. The fact that I'm in this elevator. No, we did not. I mean, we just killed a... Like, why don't they just send us out into the city? I just killed, like, a hundred of them. Yeah, there's no run button. There's a way to walk, but... Alright, who's gonna die? What's gonna happen? I feel like we're not gonna make it to the... Oh, well, we did both did make it to the helicopter. I feel like she was gonna get attacked there, because she was saying the whole, like... The whole thing about the dinner and the different stuff, like... I am actually really surprised she didn't just get nabbed. And then the satellite, so... We get to watch this again. It might be a little bit more interesting seeing the satellite actually line up the shot. Maybe, maybe the idea of the game would catch me more if it wasn't so like complex. 
like they've they've filled it so much at this point that it's kind of like there's too much going on all at once in a Resident Evil game. There's way too much. You got like A plot, B plot. Um, I mean, just all the stuff that was supposedly happening all at the same time in Raccoon City at this point is just like, you can't keep track of it all. You have Leon, you have Claire, both together. They're in the same game, but they're both doing separate things. Then you have Jill and Carlos in the city at the same time. Then you have all these uh, Survivor, Code Veronica, all these different characters. Actually, wait, Code Veronica was uh, was Claire after the fact, I think. Yeah, Code Veronica was after the fact. I never played that one. That was one of the main games that I never got a chance to play. But they had a lot of spin-offs that were all happening like at all at the same time. When you take when you take a game and make a game series and make everything that happens canon, including spin-offs, then the game gets too saturated is what I think. I think that's kind of my whole problem is that this game is too I'll save because I didn't save the last time. Uh, that one. So I completed two sections. I don't think that that wasn't a full episode. That was maybe like a chapter. All right, then back, then next. But this game series is too saturated at this point. I believe a reboot could be perfect. Like, take, oh. Raymond, that's you. Is it was Parker that missed? The BSAA. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> Answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond, stop right there. Nothing will change unless you get your hands dirty. All right. So, the FBC so yeah, so I'm back to her. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. So I for sure have to pick up items, cause okay. So at the very least, like, so Jill is the, seeming like the main character of the game entirely. Like I kind of figured she's on. I believe the cover art of the game, um, while Chris is not. So it seems like there's just these other filler sections for the most part. Oh, so I am supposed to go down here. Okay. Yeah, they almost seem like kind of filler sections to add content to the game. Which, at the same time, I don't know if any of these were added to uh, add to the length of the re-release of this game. Okay, so the elevator's not working there. So I need to get that booted up. There's an enemy in this room somewhere. Hello. Hello, goofy guy. Hello, goofy man. Okay, that... These enemies are almost too goofy to take seriously, too. They're gonna found. I was aiming right at him. Directly at him. Like, there was a perfect line of sight. Okay, so I can't get into that room yet because that is an anchor. Or, no, not an anchor, but that is a... Looks like a... The wheel or something. Hey, picked up helm key. Okay, so now I can get to all the helm rooms, which I don't remember which ones are helms. That's probably helm. That might be helm right there that I was just looking at. We'll find out. POW decoys, all these different things. Now I scan room. And doesn't appear to be anything. Uh, how's this one work? Need a key reader. So there's two safes. I need key readers. There's, uh, uh let's see. I need the, the circular thing for the shotgun. Uh, I have a key so I can get into these rooms now. So one type of room is now available to me. 
uh, documents. Okay, hey, this is something that's not been happening so far in the game. There's not documents. Oh, God, please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hell. I'm trapped here. There's monsters everywhere. Real ones. Everyone's dead or dying. There are no survivors. Shit, we're all going to die. Like, that was even shorter than normal documents in a lot of the Resident Evil games. Ooh, is that map? Hey, pick the bumper interior. We find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Let's see, seems like enemies are in there sometimes. Oh, is this for the shotgun? Press. So I might be able to get the shotgun now. Hello, d hello, baby. Want to go on a date with the ship's captain? How horrible! It must have been a painful death. He got maggots and stuff out of his mouth. History of Zenobia. Okay, so this is a little bit different. I'm not going to read the the measurements. Flagship constructed in 1978. That was based on Brill Barnes. George Trevor. Trevor was actually, um, yeah, before his disappearance, he was in the first game, um, the original game. He was the um, the architect of the, of the Arkley Mansion, the mansion in the first game. Uh, the ship herself named the Zenobia, the... Queen of the Primate Emperor, Empire, not Emperor, who is not designed by the Romans, which was an empire. Excuse me, in the Atlantic, and means one of the most popular cruise ships built in the 20th century. Looks like the Queen Zenobia, along with their sister ship, was designed to be junk in the late 80s. This is cool, like, it's information on the ship. Holds a captain area, which she upgraded the latest technology. Yeah, I mean, there is some um, more recent technology in here. Like, it's kind of confusing. Like, the rooms are kind of just what they need to be. Um, history of the Queen Zenobia. The rooms are basically what they need to be. This is, like, real old-fashioned. It's got, like, the books. That's that's the beauty of being a game designer. You know, you can just, like, you can just break ideas and break canon when, it, when you need something. Shotgun should make this much easier at the very least. Wait, I thought the communications were down though. But that was the whole thing. How do you know him? I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Okay, okay, that's not actually a door. That was looking like a door for a second, that that little box. Electrical box or something. This looks like you can use this communications. Yeah, they wanted me to go to the communications room though. Or do they just want me to go back through here? Hello. Can I... There we are. I just missed a bunch. Where did I get all the... Where did I get all my ammo from? I just realized I'm like... Full on ammo. Alright, I'm just gonna use those. As long as I have extra ones, I'm probably just gonna... Use them, because this game doesn't seem like it's gonna be... Very, very difficult. I mean, from the way the Parker situation went, I mean, I honestly didn't even need to use my handgun. I was thinking about using handgun to conserve ammo, and that proved to be kind of a fruitless endeavor. There was no point otherwise. Um, try lower cabins first. That, okay, that kind of messes with it when it's like going through that loading screen. All right. So, let's see if I can... Uh, do I have an inventory? I remember having an inventory. I can't find the button right now, though. Uh, oh, that was grenade. I don't... There's an inventory. I remember seeing an inventory. I want to look at a map and see if it maybe tells me... Which keys I need for which ones. Um, I'll grab that. Most of these rooms it seems like I was in. Yeah, this is the room with the lockbox. Oh, hey. I can maybe... Fire rate up. Damage up. Do I want to use those on my handgun though? Oh, okay. So I can only have... Th I can have three weapons at one time. Um, looks like I can have a lot more uh, F1, which is kind of an odd button to press. Firepower by 20%. Oh, 
Okay, so I can equip that on there, then that on there. Can I equip two of the same kind? Okay. Can I remove this? Yes, I can. So, I'll do damage up and fire rate up because of those are my only two things so far. And there we go. My handgun is more powerful now. 20%. So, even using 20% less bullets would be nice. Um, What room was this? Oh, yeah, there's nothing in here. I already checked these. Okay, um, and I'm getting to the end of it, so I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, start finding where I need to go in the next part. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.